Stefan Salpas here at Rotive. Today I want to show you how to create a Salesforce developer org. That way you can you know, use that as a sandbox environment and do a whole bunch of testing before you actually do that in your production environment. So first things first, we're going to go to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up. This is how you get to the form to create yourself a developer org. So we'll start filling this form out. The email address, this has to be a valid email address for the ac activation email to go to. So I'll go ahead and put my work email and then specify your role. You know, what are you, you know, using this for? Go ahead and put your company in if you want. You don't have to put the zip code and then username. So this is very important. This is what you're going to be logging in as in your developer org. And it has to be in the form of an email address. Don't use a real email address that you have or that you're using with an existing account. So type in something fake. So I'll type in Stefan999 at gmail.com. It doesn't matter if it doesn't exist. It's just in the shape and form of an email address. You'll go ahead and click that checkbox, click sign me up, and then you're going to be waiting for your activation email to arrive in your inbox, right? So we'll just wait a couple of minutes. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than others, so you just got to give it some time, wait for it to show up in the inbox, check your spam folder just in case, but right now I'm having, you know, having to wait a long time. All right, so it looks like we got it. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So there it is right there. Welcome to Salesforce, verify your account. So once you click into there, you'll scroll down. You can see it says, thank you, thank you for signing up. Verify account. What I do is I go ahead and highlight the username because you will need that to log in, right? So I'll go ahead and copy that just so I can have it ready for later. Go ahead and click verify account. And now it's gonna say change your password. We're really not changing any password. We're setting the password for our developer account. So you'll go ahead, type in a password that you'll remember. Go ahead and choose your security question if you'd like, and then select change password. And once you do that, you've essentially just verified your account and your developer org. So the developer org is amazing, right? It has a whole bunch of dummy data to test through, to run with. You can view leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities. I mean, you can use process builder. You can start creating workflows. You, again, you can essentially use this as a sandbox environment in order to see what would happen in your production environment if you would reflect those um, workflows in your actual working environment. So if I click into the app launcher, you can see here it lists all the apps so far. If I click view all, then you can see what the entire developer org is capable of doing. So you have all of these different types of objects, these different apps, really cool stuff to run through. If I go into the sales app, right, one that we're all common with, you can see the types of data that's collected within it. So at the very top, you have all these you know, beautiful tabs. If I just go ahead and click into the leads tab and then click recently viewed and let's just say, you know, all open leads for an example. So once I click into there, as you can see, this dummy data is, you know, reflecting. I could even create a list view if I want to. So let's go ahead and create a new list view. Let's just say I want to look at all leads, all right? Go ahead and select that change. All users can see it, even though we're the only user. And then I'm going to go ahead and filter instead of my leads on the right hand side, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to all leads right there at the top. Go ahead and click done. Let's remove that and then click save. And now it's showing us all leads in this dummy account. Okay. So if I click into here, let's go take a look at Jeff glimpse and you can see all this, you know, dummy data residing on this, on this lead record. So if I click into details, you know, all this stuff. So again, great testing environment to, to create and mess around with instead of creating a sandbox environment and then just go ahead and you'll make all the changes you want to it and see what would happen and then, you know, apply those uh, workflows or automations in your production environment. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or, you know, need any help, feel free to reach out to us. All right. Thank you.